What's going on guys, it's Craig Tech360. Today I'm going to show you another video on how these compactors operate. Alright guys, so first and foremost, thank you for clicking on this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Let's get into it. So I know I made a video before. It was kind of brief. It wasn't very good because I didn't really have a guy to hold the camera like I do now. So we're going to do kind of a quick little walk around. I'm going to show you actually what it does because I've had some questions on the other video of how these things are empty, what actually goes on inside. It's hard to do it when you're holding the camera and trying to make a video at the same time. So, all right guys, so this is the back side of this dumpster. I know last time I didn't get that in the video, but this time we did. Uh, so basically, once these things get full, they, they're loaded up, they're basically taken out, these backs open up, and they are dumped and they're brought back or they're replaced with another one as they haul one off. So, that's the back side, real quick, same thing. Now some of you may wonder what's the difference between a green, gray, or different colors, blue. Green is usually recycling, so paper, plastic, cardboard, etc. The other ones are usually just plain trash, so some places they only have one, some places, some places they have recycling and trash. So this all depends on where you're at. So let's move back around the front and let's take a look and see what happens when we turn this thing on. Alright, so first we're going to start off with the gauges here. Now this is basically the switch. There's a gauge in here. You come up closer, you can see. Basically what ends up happening is once you get your stuff in there, you can hit start and that starts the whole process. You get stopped at your emergency, so in case something happens, somebody falls in. Or another thing, you can hit reverse and it backs it off. Now, you have a gauge here. Now what that does is when this thing is pushing and compacting this stuff in, right before, right before it stops and comes back, Wherever that needle hits on pressure wise, it kind of gives you an idea of how full this compactor is. So you know, you either get it empty and make that phone call or whatever it may be, or it's just jammed up. And it, like if you see this thing going over to the red and there's hardly anything in it, that means this thing's jammed up and something needs, it needs to be worked on. So let's go ahead and get some boxes thrown in here and I'll leave it open and see what, what it does. So we're gonna open up the front doors. Now, I do understand a lot of a lot of these units are set up to where they have safety switches where they will not operate unless the doors are shut. Ours do not have that, so they can be open. So, basically it's like this. You see there's not a whole lot going on. There's not, there's not really any trash in there. So, we'll just throw some trash in there. That you don't have to stack them. So once you get it all in there, you reach over. All you have to do is turn that key. And what's going to happen is this little piece right here just comes out and basically just forces it and pushes it all on back. Now, once this gets full, it starts actually compacting. But since it's not full, it's just pushing it. So as you saw on that one, you saw how it hit yellow, nowhere near full, so we still got plenty of room to go. But that's it. Once you're done with it, just close your doors back. That's it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Don't argue, don't fight. Until next time, guys.